Katrina Pearson is the national spokeswoman for the Donald Trump campaign and the communications director for Ted Cruz. Alice Stewart joins me now. And you're both women and I'm a woman, so I'm glad that we're all together for this conversation. So, Katrina, <laughs> let me start with you. As a woman, are you offended by what Donald Trump did? Uh, no, Aaron. Actually, I'm one of those women that doesn't need validation from outside sources. And I will start with this. Simply because the entire discussion this whole day, and I've watched it unfold on all the outlets, has just completely ignored the fact that Melania Trump was attacked. Mr. Trump said from the very beginning that he was against super PACs and super PAC ads, and he was going to hold those campaigns accountable when a super PAC attacked on their behalf. It doesn't matter if Ted Cruz is directly connected to this super PAC because they were pushing him as a candidate. More importantly, he did not come out and but denounce he didn't this act when it happened. But later, he did it was much, it. much he did later. Denounce it. Donald Trump, Donald Trump came out and denounced the reporter that did a horrible cartoon image of Senator Ted Cruz's people. One of the first. This did not happen in the case of Melania Trump. The headlines today are making Heidi Cruz out to be the okay. victim, completely ignoring the fact that Melania Trump was plastered all over this ad for Ted Cruz. Alice, did Ted Cruz wait too long to denounce this? He denounced it the very first moment it was brought to his attention. First and foremost, we had absolutely nothing to do with this pack. It's actually an anti-Trump pack that has actually said critical things about Ted in the past. The moment this was brought to Ted's attention, he said it was inappropriate. He did not condone it. He denounced it. And he uh, said that spouses and family members of candidates are off limits and should not be talked about in the po political discourse. And he has said very complimentary things about Melania Trump. She is a great mother. She is a beautiful woman, exactly like Heidi Cruz is. And Ted would never say anything disparaging. And this right here this sets up exactly what we're so seeing here. One man who denigrates women, another man who defends them. One who has spent a lifetime insulting them, and one who inspires them. This is not the first time this has happened. Donald Trump, in this cycle alone, has said insulting and denigrating things about Megyn Kelly, about Carly Fiorina, and now Heidi Cruz. It's absolutely unacceptable. And, and Katrina, Look, I'm surprised and pretend. shocked that you're not embarrassed. Let's, if you're not embarrassed be by your boss's behavior, be that says a lot. You have a woman whose image was plastered in a political attack ad as if it was some vicious person, and nobody says anything until Donald Trump responds defending his own wife. And let's not, surprise, let's not be surprised here. The problem that Republicans have with women did not start in January 2015. This has been an ongoing issue, and Mr. Trump treats everyone the same. Just because you're a woman, he's not going to treat you with kid gloves. And I would expect most independent uh, women would appreciate that. And in the, can well, in the states the that have thing. already no, voted, the other he thing. has the been. Maybe women the fact, don't need men to stand up that, for them. The fact maybe, that, maybe, hold on one second. Maybe women that, don't need men to stand up for them. Heidi Cruz herself stepped in and actually she doesn't need Ted Cruz to stand up for her and say, oh, I'm going to stand up for my own wife. She stood up for herself, uh, as she should. And here's what she said to Donald Trump. You know, as I said, you probably know by now that most of the things that Donald Trump says have no basis in reality. So we are uh, not worried in the least for focusing on our campaign, uh, and we are going to continue to do that. Total class right there. You know, and the fact that, herself, that he is an ahead. equal opportunity offender... The fact that he's an equal opportunity offender does not make his disgusting comments about women okay. And look, this is all a, a product of the fact Donald Trump is afraid to go head to head on the issues with Ted Cruz. He ducked out of the last debate. He's been in Trump, Trump Tower for days tweeting uh, inappropriate comments. He is afraid to go head to head with Ted Cruz on important issues that people are concerned with. And let me tell you this, we have a town hall next week here on CNN from Wisconsin, we invite Donald Trump to come on stage with Ted Cruz at 8 o'clock for two hours to debate the issues. We issue that challenge and, and we encourage him to do so because people want to hear the candidates debate the issues and not trade uh, barbs on Twitter well, good, and well, certainly you know, don't want to see any more that, disparaging people comments. people have been hearing Donald Trump on the issues. He's been the most accessible candidate. He's held the most press conferences. He's had the most candidate rallies. And people know where Mr. Trump stands on the issue. And the fact that you want to say he's afraid is laughable. That might work with other campaigns, but not with the Trump campaign, considering that Donald Trump has been fighting 16 other candidates, hundreds of millions of dollars in attack ads, all of the elite thinkers, writers, donors, media outlets, 
everybody. Lobbyist special interests, right. he has gone after everyone that has gone after him, and it's not going to change, especially when you start attacking his wife. What? Well, he, All right, he needs I'll to hit leave pause. His, I love having you both on, and I love alone. having you on together.